Okay, everyone, we have come back to the same exact spot for round two, but this time I brought the big guns out. So I've got my son with me today as well, and he's holding the Shimano Stella 4000. I've got the Luz Super Duty 300, and these are normally reserved for the jetties. So because of that, I've spooled them with 30 pound braid, uh, 300 yards, and instead of going with a 40 pound leader line, I've doubled the test pound to 60. So 30 main line, 60 leader line. We've got a heavier split shot. We've got a combination of croaker and live shrimp. Uh, drag is cinched down. Let me make sure that it is. I've got a bigger circle hook. I'm gonna start things out with live croaker. Here, let's get away. I want Christian to drop first. He's out there getting ready. Welcome back to MDLR Fishing. For those of you that are new, I hope that you're gonna enjoy today's content. There's literally nothing here at the docks today. It's just completely dead. Zero fish activity, zero movement up here at the surface. Like absolutely nothing. The water looks nice and clean though. I just don't see no activity whatsoever. The pressure's a little bit higher than it was the last time I came out, but I mean, it's nothing significant that would make me think there's not gonna be any fish here. I'm just not seeing anything at all. It just sucks. Oh my gosh, that, okay, I got no choice but to, but to use shrimp now because my mullet, I mean my uh, croaker head banged the, uh, the piling under there and came off. All right, shrimp. What y'all got? What y'all got on my big fish? There we go. Please catch us something other than a pinfish. This guy's gonna get ate up quick. And I'm not feeling any nibbles. My shrimp ain't kicking, so probably already got bit on the way down. Like, got robbed on the way down. I feel the tension though. I'm like we're, okay, no, my shrimp is still here. Well, my guy survived the first drop. There we go. Oh my gosh. I got had right here, literally. Look at my shrimp. He's right there. He just got pulled off the dang hook. Dude, are you kidding me? Maybe I don't need to fish at the, all the way at the bottom. That was a good shrimp, too. I was literally just dangling him in there so that he can stay alive. We got about two hours and 15 minutes. I'm going to run across and fish that. If that doesn't work, then I'll probably run out if we have time to fish the oyster reef. You see that orange buoy way over there? That's the start of the oyster reef and we can fish that, but I don't think we're gonna have time for that. So I'm just gonna go across and fish the other docks and hopefully there'll be something over there on that end. I'm casting one more shrimp and then I'm leaving this dock. I'm going to go out into the middle of the oyster. There we go. Just trying to head into the general direction on where I saw them blowing up here. Let me kill the motor. There they go out there. I think these are jacks. That's... Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Dang it. Yeah, um, whatever it is they're taking my bait, that's for dang sure. They got very abrasive mouths, whatever it is that's hitting us, because on my hook, 
it's like it's very scuffed up there we go right over there again same spot okay okay whatever it is we got him oh my gosh you got to be kidding me dude hard head y'all <laughs> why am i being punished shut up with your filthy witchcraft talk There we are, right in front of us. Gotta hurry up. Okay, right in front of us over there, the surface is kind of, looks a little bit wild. There we go. It's a ladyfish, that was a big old ladyfish. Man, my guess was Jackson ladyfish and this one's a lady. I'm curious what Christian got. Dude, chill. All right, let's get this guy back inside the water. We'll see you later, Mr. Ladyfish. That no, because something foul hooked is not gonna pull you that hard. There's nothing out here that can pull you that hard. A shark maybe, but then it would have snapped your line. It would have cut it. Well, the fact that there was a guy who, he said 100% ID'd Jax out here just lets me know that they've got to be in here. Like going that way is where I saw them about a good 70, uh, 70 yards. I, it could be, but what they normally do is swim in circles and they'll come back. What we want to do is we want to see the surface like kind of erupt and stay like that. Not just the quick psh, splash and then it goes away. We want to see it erupt and like kind of boiling and stay like that for a good 30 seconds or so. And that lets us know that it's got to be them. Dang, dude. You know what I'm thinking, son? Earlier, when we were over there at the dock, they were probably feeding aggressively out here on the reef. And the time that I came out, they were probably over there by the dock. And that's why I got broke off because, I mean, there was nothing that was going to pull that, that was that freaking strong. There we are. It's a lady. Ah. Whoa, chick, chill out. No, get away from the trolling motor. Chill out, dang it. Oh my gosh, son. All right, you're going in the net. Next thing you know, you're gonna like, dang. <clears throat> chill out, girl. My gosh. All right, that's how we're going to end this one. little buddy you can went down there as bait I thought about it and now we're gonna send you down as bait what well I mean I got a little sand trout I'm gonna use them as bait no oh, that's a big old mark right there that could also be my bait but I just felt something play with my bait so uh, I don't know these are some big marks Where's my spoon? Koala. Prepare to meet your match fish. All right. Already got hit. 
Whatever it is, they're swimming very close to the surface because I'm seeing their tails. Oh my gosh. I got hit super dang hard. Yeah, it's it's completely lit up with these fellas right now. I'm I'm looking at the hummingbird and they are all over the place at all depths. From 15 all the way up to the surface. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> He spit the hook and the, my spoon flung right over here and then I got hit again as it was going down. Oh, got him. <laughs> yeah. This is a, look at the size of these that we're getting, y'all. These are some big, big old huge ladyfish. I mean, that is massive. In case y'all are wondering, I'm just like holding them up for the camera to see so that they can unhook themselves. I consider that a catch. This is a lot of fun. Setup that we're using is an old 18 Outfitters Traverse. This is a seven foot, 10 inch long, medium heavy rod meant for swim baits. So plenty of backbone, lots of leverage to uh, sling these spoons out there. 30 pound test on the loose Super Duty. It's a 300 size bait caster. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they do. Oh. Oh my gosh, that's a... If that's a lady, I'm either foul hooked. Oh, he just broke off. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's certain, there's certain traffic here that's like, that's not a ladyfish that I'm fighting. That was not, that, it didn't come up the way a ladyfish would. Yeah, that's it. Oh my gosh. You cannot believe this. It's a sand trout. Yeah. And I'm using a big O spoon too. Save your mouth. Save your mouth. Boy, he got the hook perfect. You've got to be one hungry fella to actually do this right here. I don't know how we're going to get this big old massive spoon out your mouth. Dude, dude, dude. Chill. I guess it hurts. Stay away from big old spoons. <sighs> Y'all, all of that right there is hundreds, like literally hundreds of sand trout. And my spoon literally cannot make it to the bottom without getting tagged. I mean, this is fun and all, but they don't pull any drag. This is a tiny fella too. They don't pull that drag the way the ladies do. And I'm also getting lucky ever so often and getting something that's... Yeah, they're small. Some of them are very small. We're getting lucky because mixed in with these fellas and what's keeping me here is the fact that there are some monster drag pullers mixed in with them eating these guys. And if you go over to my son's channel, I'm going to link them down below, you can see just what I'm talking about. My gosh. I mean, it's insane how big these guys I felt a, a nice tug before but yeah y'all saw what happened there we are another sand trout all right I'm gonna start moving around and try and find the uh, ladyfish because there's nothing big mixed in with these guys right here there we are no he just got off no he's on and it's another sand trout. 
I just cannot get away from these guys. Don't get the lens wet, buddy. I just cleaned it. Dude, don't. Shake weight. Ooh, that dude just pooed himself. All right, all of that right there, sand trout again. We're gonna continue cruising the reef and we'll see if we can find anything else. There we go. That's a catfish. It can't be nothing else but that. Oh my gosh, I like foul hooked a gap top. That is not nice. That's disgusting because I don't want to put him in my net. Actually, I lassoed him. Dude, Indiana Jones would be jealous. Look, you're not going to believe this. Look at this, son. Look how he got, look at how he got hooked. Oh my gosh. Like my hook is, and my line is wrapped around. That is insane, you see that? I literally lassoed him. Dude, that is a one in a million. Oh my gosh. Y'all, look at this. It, he's not, he's not foul hooked. He's just lassoed. Bro, I got skills. That is massive. All right, let's get this turd off. Oh my gosh, look at that. Disc Ugh. So that's gonna do it, y'all. Well, hopefully y'all found this one interesting and kind of fun. I'm glad that you stuck with me this long. I consider you my core audience. And if you're not a, sub sub a subscriber, then uh, please click that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one. Till next time, tight lines.